Okay, as announced, let's uh, now look at a completely different solution technique for solving the radon problem. Um, this is going to be completely independent of what we did up to now. This is fully discrete. We'll only solve linear equations. And uh, so this is kind of much simpler than what we did before. Nevertheless, it's quite successful. Um, and uh, it also is a reconstruction technique that is used in many non-standard computerized tomographs. The common name for this is ART, algebraic reconstruction technique, but um, more or less it's just discretizing the radon problem. Okay, uh, so uh, to fix ideas, let's look what we have. Oh, um, we are always looking at uh, R2 in this, uh, in this paragraph. Um, we could do it in R3, but uh, we're looking at R2. Okay, uh, so uh, in the fully continuous form, we are uh, for the rate, Problem for, form of the problem for the radon transform, we're looking for a function f such that rf is g with continuous parameters theta and s. Um, we use the semi-discrete form rf of theta k and s is gk of s. That assumes that uh, we can only measure the, Fourier, the radon transform in some directions theta k. Uh, but uh, um, continuously in, uh, in S. And we have the fully discrete form where uh, the, for the radon transform is just given for some lines. So we have in this case RF of theta L and SL is GL and uh, L goes over all lines. And the lines are defined by direction theta L and distance SL from the origin. Okay, uh, the obvious idea is uh, to discretize f of x as a sum of ansatz functions. So we write f of x as sum over all k, fk, chi k of x, uh, and the sum goes over the discrete number of ansatz functions. So typically, chi k is the characteristic function of a pixel or voxel, voxel in R3, pixel in R2. Um, but that uh, gives, um, sometimes gives um, discontinuous images. So sometimes you would like things to be, um, to be very smooth. So uh, a common choice might also be something like e to the minus lambda <clears throat> norm of x minus xik squared over two, where xik are positions in the reconstruction area. Um, we will not look at this one, but uh, rather we'll always think about chi k as the characteristic function of a pixel. Now, uh, what does that mean for the fully discrete case? Well, we, are, we measured along the line LL, which was defined by direction theta L and um, distance SL. So we have GL is RF of theta L and SL. And that's the integral over LL, uh, f of x uh, dx, plugging in the definition or the, the ansatz we made. We get uh, to, the, um, uh, to the linear equation, sum over all k, f k, uh, integral over LL, k, k of x dx. Now, uh, what is this? guy over here, chi k in uh, our model is uh, the characteristic function of pixel. This is a line integral. So uh, if I denote this by ALK, then uh, this is nothing but the length of the intersection of the line LL with pixel k. Okay, uh, denoting this as ALK, uh, this one reads sum of all k ALK times FK is GL. And uh, now taking all the equations together, we get uh, RF equals G, where R in this case is the rate, is the matrix of the ALK. F is the vector of all the pixel values, and G is the vector of all measurements. 
Okay, so finally we get a linear equation for f, and this should be a small one. Not good. So we get a linear equation for f. And uh, in the case of pixels, as I just said, uh, let's assume that we have um, that we have uh, discretized our reconstruction areas as three by four, like here. That means we have twelve pixels uh, denoted as p1 to p12. That's of course not the normal way. Of course, you would denote this one over here as p11, p12, and so on, and then you would have p43 down here. But to keep things simple, I just counted them here. Now we have a line integral over here. Integral the that's the line LL along which we've measured the radon transform. So uh, ALK in this case would be the integral over LL um, um, KK, a characteristic function, let's say of P7 over here.